An example of the issues I'd like to see investors pay more attention to are doing the numbers before they purchase the property. They need to work out how much it's going to cost them, how much the refund is going to be for tax purposes and the end result of how much they're out of pocket, whether they can afford it. Also, they need to consider what sort of property suits them when they're looking at how their tax bracket affects the losses on the property. A difference between good debt and bad debt. Good debt is when you borrow to invest in assets that will produce an income for you or go up in value. Bad debt is when possibly you even acquire a liability such as a car that you're going to have to pay rego and insurance on. But it's mainly that the interest on the loan is not tax deductible. Moving out of your home and holding it as a rental property generally has problems associated with it because you probably find there's not much debt left on the home to claim the interest as a tax deduction. This makes keeping your old home as a rental property generally very uneconomical. If I was to buy a rental property now or begin a portfolio, I would be concerned about my age. I'm looking at retiring probably in the next 10 years. 10 years is too short a period of time to hold a rental property because it's cost you a fortune to get in and a fortune to get out. You really need a lot of strong capital growth before you'd realise that. So when I look for a rental property, I would be looking for cash flow positive if I could or close to it, some way of making it at least support itself so that I can maintain it through retirement. <music>